trying to fix her. Why this doesn't always work out. Hi everyone, I am Apollonia Ponti. I am your dating and relationship and life coach. I am your coach for you to master your attraction skills, build the life overall so you can really excel in dating relationships and your life in general. Today's video is a pretty serious topic because I've noticed a lot of people doing this once, one or two times in their lives and I know a lot of you can probably relate. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about when we go into a relationship or we're dating a woman and we see potential and that's the issue is the potential is what we see. And then we go into the fix mentality as though I am going to fix her because our value and our worth sometimes is as a person, as a man is contributed to our doing. I will do this for her in order for her to see me in this light, in order for her to see that I am the guy that she should choose. And then we go into the pleasing mentality. We go into people pleasing mentality. And then we're just working at something that can also not contribute to you. And this is what I'm going to explain in this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I welcome you to subscribe and hit that subscribe button. So you're notified every time that I post a video. Now let's get into it. Typically when we go into dating, it's because of the fact that we want to find love or we might have some behavioral patterns that aren't the best behavioral patterns and how we choose to be in relationships or choose women or choose a relationship or a person for that matter. And what's important to understand is that we should get into relationships so we can also flourish in life, not getting into relationships to feel wanted, to feel loved, to feel needed. Because when we get into the relationships in order to receive something as far as something that we can only give ourselves, meaning internal happiness, um, curing whatever mm, trauma we might have, um, and getting into relationships like this means that we are going to go down a negative spiral when it comes to our own worth and happiness, because this is something that can only be found from within. And when we go into the fixing mentality and we try to fix this woman, what typically happens with men is they go into this as though they have a mindset, which they are most of the time great men, and they tell, tell themselves like, I'm gonna show this woman that I'm this great guy, then I, this other guy or this other person or this life that she's living can be better and I'm gonna show her this. But intentionally within her, she doesn't see you as the guy that she wants to probably be with right now because she's in a dynamic in her life where she's not excelling possibly. She's not happy with herself. She's trying to rebuild something again, or she's trying to find herself again, or she's confused as ever. And what we're going to do is we're going to convince her, we're trying to fix her. And then if we fix her, then we're going to get rewarded at the end. And ultimately, you will lose yourself if you do so. And because of this, a lot of times we do this because of the fact that we are in illusional thinking and we think that if I do this and I do X, Y, Z, finally she's going to see me as how I want her to see me. And if I fix it, it's going to be this beautiful love story at the end. And it's not the case, guys. What's going to happen is it can actually push this woman away. It can not only push this woman away, but it can also get you to think that, I mean, excuse me, it can get you to lose yourself in the chase. And this is what we should not be, should not be doing is chasing people. What we need to do is kind of really sit back and understand why are we doing this? Why are we contributing this time and this need to prove myself? Why are we getting into this prove mentality, losing our own selves and being aware and noticing this? A lot of times when we get here, sometimes we're, you don't, we don't even want to look at ourselves because we're hurting so deeply because of the fact that we really want this person. And you've got to shift your perspective if this is you. There's been times where I've been on the phone and I've just told men like, you're just not ready. You're, you're not showing me that you're ready to change your perspective because our life and the love that we have for this person that mistreats us because we're trying to fix them is linked to them now and we can't see any way and we don't see what we're doing to ourselves in the background. So typically when we go into trying to fix women, 
it comes from a codependency, right? It comes from a superiority that was actually taught to you wrong. Meaning that if you show your worth to a woman by fixing her and you're doing, then that means that you're going to walk away with a woman, which is not the case and has been taught in society sometimes and in Hollywood movies, really. And what's really important is that we don't believe this any longer. What is really, res really responsible and really important to understand is that the only people that are responsible for their behaviors are themselves, not someone else. Okay. The only time someone else is responsible for behaviors is if they've impacted them in a very negative, negative way. And that's a whole nother dynamic. And the thing about this as well is we have to understand that if we want to find love and if we want to be in a better relationship where we're not coming from an emptiness, we're not coming from a chase is that we change our codependency. We change our patterns around relationships. We change the way that we look at ourselves and our value in relationships. Typically we get in these relationships because of two reasons. We have less of a value of ourselves. And number two is we've already put this woman on a pedestal because she is someone we've never gotten before and we've started to idolize because of illusional thinking, meaning illusional thinking is defined by the past or the future and not in the present moment. If this speaks to you, I encourage you to change this. And this is how we're going to change this. It's called my break free of codependency product. It's over two hours of personal. It's over two hours of videos. It has videos and it's over days of personal developments. There's meditations in there and there's a lot of self healing as well in there that I've put together for you. It took me about a year to put this work together in regards to codependency and studying. You also do have my VIP membership group, which you're going to have complete access to for my membership coaching calls with my VIP clients. And I give that to you and it's basically completely free in this product because I want to be able to support you as much as possible, especially in these times. I encourage you to download that. That will be in the link below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment below and like this video and share it with a friend. If this is something that you've noticed that maybe your friend is even going through and can benefit from this video. As always, I love hearing from you and I'll see you again in the next video. And as I sign off, what do I always say? You are always loved. <laughs> Bye for now.